We're here. We did it. This is live? This is live. This is on? We're on YouTube right now. Let's go. We have the four kings. We're gonna set the kings down. We're not gonna use them yet. We also need a card from the deck. So I'll set cards on the table like this. Say stop. Stop. Remember the card? Got it. We're gonna leave it sticking out of the middle. You could see exactly where it is. Mm -hmm. Square it into the deck. Perfect. Now the kings, the kings, the four kings. We're gonna start with the top king. So let's see what king ended up on top of the deck. We have the king of clubs, which we cut into the deck and leave sticking out like this. If we take the remaining three kings, we could turn them into your of spades. What? What? How crazy is this? Seriously. <laughs> what is up guys? Alex Boyer here, and this is one of my closest friends, one of my favorite magician in the whole world. Don't touch me. Also, uh, all around dope dude. Ladies and gentlemen, Franco Pascali, thank you so much for teaching uh, this amazing attack on the channel, dude. I've been waiting forever for him to come on this channel, by the way, guys, and he's finally here. I'm excited. Hope you... What, what is this? How's the box? What's the box? You know this one? No. Go for it. 30 seconds. 30. 29. Open the box? 28. 27. 26. 25. I'll give you the shortcut. Okay, go ahead. This bolt yeah. makes you think you can't open it, and you open it from here, but this is magnetic. One of those. I hate puzzles, man. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so guys, if you're ready to learn this amazing effect, grab yourself a deck of cards. I said deck. Deck of cards, and uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's learn how to do that. You need cards, of course. But here's what I enjoy about this. Don't tell anybody. This is our little secret. You have duplicate eight of spades. Pause. Pause, pause. But here's the thing, hear me out. If you do a, an effect with duplicates like a transpo, let's say you do a double lift followed by a double lift to make two cards switch spaces and you're using a duplicate. I think that's a little bit more obvious per se, even though it's an amazing trick, but it just goes to say that in that instance, the method is directly correlated with the effect. They go, well, a card can't go from here to here. Hidden with the four of a kind, it becomes less obvious and I think it's a very good use of a duplicate because nobody would think you're using a duplicate and it's very impossible. It's also surprising. So here's your setup. You need a four of a kind. I use the kings. And you go like this. So you sandwich the kings between your duplicate. You square these up. This goes on top of the deck. And you're ready to begin because you're starting by taking five cards as four you don't need to even make a big deal about it. You just kind of push over to yourself five cards, and you say, I took some cards out before we began. Before we began, I took out the kings, and then go on into it. Um, I'm gonna make one more point. Let's say these are uh, your duplicates in the deck, and the deck is entirely shuffled, okay? So let's say the deck is shuffled like this. If you really want to do, you could do something like this, where you say, all right, let's use, let's take these out. And you just set it up in front of them right there, as if you're taking out a few cards you need for the effect and all you're doing is positioning the cards in this way by any method. So that's how you would do it with a shuffle deck. You would just take the shuffle deck, go through and kind of organize the cards in the exact order you need it, place it on top of the deck, and then you'd begin by just telling people, look, I took out the kings before we began. And now you're showing them the kings. So here I'm holding five cards, the ace is here. The way you're gonna show the kings is you're gonna hold it like this in biddle grip, and you're gonna peel off one, peel off two, peel off three, and on the third, you're gonna do a double this way by bending and letting go. You could practice this with your cards and you'll notice that the cards pretty much don't split when you do it this way, especially if you have a bit of an older deck. But again, the method is you're starting like this, the basic technique, you're in uh, this kind of fiddle grip, and you go boom, boom, Boom. On this one, you immediately put down the double, immediately grab this one, and you're bending all of them just for the uniformity of action, okay? Do it one more time. Essentially say, look, here we have the four kings. We're going to set the kings down. We're not going to use them just yet. Done. That's step one. Good. Step two, you have your duplicate on the deck like this, ready to be forced. You could force this any way that you want. 
I'm not gonna sit here and necessarily go over a force, but you could force it any way that you want. You or you can also go on my channel and learn a force if you want on another video. I'll put, place it right here, click on it, and there you go, you know how to force cards. Thank you, Franco. We f***ing love it. <laughs> so, force this card by any means, right? Okay, somebody says stop, you take a card. The rest of this is all fun because the effect is done, so to speak. So you're showing this card, you make sure that they don't see it. This goes back into the deck. I like to show them the clear image of the card going back into the deck. And now I do something a little funny, which is I use a lot of hand coverage to square it really slowly. I'm just squaring it like this. And I say, look, we're gonna square it, and I let my hand linger because I think it's fun that for a brief second somebody might think you're hiding something, and I think that's a fun thing to do. The first time you showed it to me, I thought I really thought you had something in your hand. <laughs> Literally, yeah, yeah. So you got me, buddy. So you go like this, and then your hand's immediately gone, and you say, let's take the kings. So you take the kings, just like so, and you bring them face down. So the situation now is you have their card on top of the kings, but you want to bring it to the bottom. And you do it very simply by just saying, you peel off one, two, three, just like before, and you say four kings and you square again. So that's all you're doing, I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. You pick these up from the table. You say, now we'll use the kings. Let's take a look at what kings on top. That's all you're doing, you reverse their order, and now their card's on the bottom. So at this point, you say, let's take a look, ba 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 ba, four kings, let's take a look at what king's on top. So I like to show and gesture this card forward because as I'm doing this, this hand is grabbing a pinky break by pulling down on the bottom card. Pulling down on the bottom card. Another small note on pinky breaks in general, if you wanna cover more angles, all I have to do is move my hand this way because now even the person on my right can't see the break. It's mm -hmm. just a small note that applies to pinky breaks. It's a great tip, great tip. Uh, so I'm here, I'm gesturing to this card. I say, let's take a look at what's on top. As the hands meet, I perform, you know, pretty much like a double lift, but just a single card. And I immediately grab everything above the break, all the kings in this kind of deep biddle grip where I'm kind of hiding a good amount of the cards. And it's all done in action of this. So here's how it looks like uh, up to speed. You say, let's take a look at what king's on top, the king of clubs. What we're gonna do is cut it, and you immediately go to cut it into the middle of the deck. Let's do that one more time to make it clear. You gesture this card as you pinky pull down, so you gesture here, you turn over, you say king of clubs, we're gonna cut it into the middle. You pick up the single, flip it, keep it out jogged, like that. We'll square the first king into the deck. We'll take the remaining three kings. And if you hit it just right, they turn into your eight of spades. Damn, bro. Damn. That's amazing. It's a weird effect, but the reason why it hits so strong is the effect happens at a very unexpected moment. It isn't the clearest effect to follow, but it's very, very surprising and very fooling because they're following the rhythm of your hand and your words. And by the time they catch up to what you even said, you've already won because the effect is done. So there you go guys, hope you enjoyed this amazing effect by Franco. So where can people find you? If you want to learn more free magic, 
you can go on my Instagram at Magic Intel. I do free tutorials and it's a private page, just magicians and cardists. So we have a nice community there. It's very fun. Follow Magic Intel for free magic. And if you want cards, mm -hmm. I make cards. These are the Cardilago V2s. This is your new one, right? This Hold is on. the new one, there. yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah, buddy. There you go. There you go. These are the V2s, cardilago.com. And you can get the V1s used in the tutorial there, too. There you go, guys. So I'll drop all, all of his link below and uh, follow him. He's a dope dude. And uh, thank you again, buddy. See you guys soon. Peace.